Hi everybody, this is Laura, City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I have a layout that I made for Stretch the Sketch. Stretch the Sketch is a challenge in which we take a sketch that's intended for a 12 by 12 inch layout and we either stretch it to a larger format or we shrink it to a smaller one. I've been working on a smaller album lately, so I've been shrinking the sketch for quite a few months now. I'm using a six by eight inch album, but for some reason, the page protectors accommodate a piece of paper that measures six and a quarter inches by eight and a half inches. So that's the size of this layout. This month, we're using a sketch by, I'm probably saying this wrong, Bookish Shala. I like to have the sketch on screen so that you could see where I follow the sketch and where I change it up. A while back, probably a few years ago now, I took a class with Janet Fritz of Galaxy Girl Creations, and Janet Fritz also runs the Stretch the Sketch Hop. I think that it was her creation. The class was called Impactful Storytelling, and I used the prompts in that class to create an album in which I told more of my own story, not so much the story of my children or my family, but my story from when I was little. Then I realized I didn't have a page that included my grandparents, so that's what today's page is all about. It's about my father's mother and father. They're a very important part of my life, so I wanted to include a page about them. I'm using an old collection. This collection is called The Sweetest Thing by My Mind's Eye. I have been using a lot of these older My Mind's Eye papers for this album. I forgot how much I enjoyed working with these papers, so now I tend to look through those papers when I'm making a page for this album. I started off the album by cutting out a piece of white paper that measured six and a quarter inches by eight and a half inches. Then I cut out a piece of pattern paper that is yellow. It has a lace print on it, just a little bit smaller than the white piece of paper and layered it on top. Now I'm creating a strip to go down the center of the page. I use this really pretty floral paper. I cut a strip of it and then I mounted it on top of some pink pattern paper. And when I did that with the first strip of paper, I realized the strip was really crooked. Not sure how that happened. So I cut out a new strip and then the older strip was a little bit uh, crazy on the back from ripping it up. So I cut it in half. In the center, there was some pink paper that was still in good condition. And then I used the pink paper along the two edges. And then I used a Stampin' Up! punch. You could see it in the upper right-hand corner. And I punched out some strips on some white paper. And I used those along the edge. Now I'm mounting both of my photos on some blue pattern paper. I'm using some Distress Ink in Vintage Photo to ink the edges of the papers. I'm not inking the edges of the white paper. I'm just inking the edges of the pattern paper that I have on this layout. I often use Vintage Photo to ink the edges of papers and elements on my page. I think it's especially important on this page because there are a lot of small elements in a small space and it helps to define them so you could see each one separately, especially since since there are a lot of patterns that are on top of each other here. I arrange my photos in the same way that the photos are arranged in the sketch, except that I didn't really have enough room to put the photo on the bottom on an angle, and I didn't want to cut the photos any smaller because I didn't want to cut anything out of them, so I decided to just make that photo straight. In the sketch, there's a journaling area to the right of the vertical photo, all of my journaling is on separate pages for this album. So instead of putting journaling in that spot, I'm going to be adding an embellishment. Right now, I'm putting a layered sticker at the top of the layout. This is also from that same My Mind's Eye collection. There were a lot of little pieces of paper that had to be punched out by hand. So after I took care of that, I placed that at the top of the page. And now I'm going to start looking through the embellishments and decide which ones I want to include on my page. For the title, I picked out a sentiment that says, I love you so much. I thought that was perfect because I absolutely adored my grandparents. I was especially close with my grandmother. My grandparents passed away when I was 10, but they lived with us. So I got to see them every day. By the time that I was around, my grandfather had gotten very old. He died at 98 years old. My grandmother died at 88 years old, just a few months after my grandfather died. I just have such wonderful memories of being in their space, their apartment, as we called it, in our house. They were just two of the warmest, kindest people, and I absolutely love both of them. So I thought this was just perfect to use for the title. And then I found a 
layered brad embellishments. There are three different layers of paper with a brad through the center. Although it was a little big and very close to the embellishment at the top, I still thought it looked nice next to the upright photo of my grandparents. So then I realized that I didn't ink the edges of these embellishments that I've already placed on the layout. So I went back with the vintage photo ink and I started to apply that to all of the embellishments. The reason that I remembered to add the vintage photo was that everything started to kind of blend in with each other. And I knew that the vintage photo would help to make each embellishment visible and readable. Then there was a little accident. I accidentally ripped this piece off of this embellishment. Luckily though, I could piece it back together and it looks a little rough at first, but I'm going to add some embellishments to it to help cover up some of the areas where you could see the ripping. I'm trying to select an embellishment for the lower left-hand corner and I found these little petite flowers and I thought that this fit well in that area. So the papers that I used on this layout, they are very feminine. Initially, I was going to make the page about my grandmother, but I was thinking it made sense to include my grandfather as well. My grandfather had, I'm not sure if it was a heart attack or a stroke when I was a little bit younger. So I remember him before that and I remember him after that. And he was still really sweet after he had the stroke, but he wasn't quite as lucid as he was beforehand. So I don't have as many memories of him, but all the memories that I have of him are really wonderful. So now I have everything inked and in place and I wanted to add one of my favorite embellishments, which is photo corners. So I punched some photo corners out of this piece of pattern paper. I was thinking of using pink photo corners, but then when I turned them over and I saw the pattern on the other side, I decided that that looked a little bit better. So once again, I'm inking the edges and I'm going to attach those down just in three of the corners, kind of creating a diagonal from the upper left-hand corner to the lower right-hand corner, which follows the diagonal that's already kind of there in the arrangement of the photos. The picture on the upper left hand corner that's of my grandmother and grandfather when they were younger. I have no idea what year that photo was taken and then the photo on the bottom that's a picture of my grandfather, my grandmother, and me when I was a little baby and there weren't too many pictures of me when I was that age so I'm glad that one of them is of me with my grandparents. My grandmother never seems to look happy in pictures, but she was definitely not like that in person. She was such a sweetheart. To cover up the rips in the doily, I added some really, really tiny pearls to the edge of the doily where some of the rips could be covered up. I also added some pearls to the flowers on this piece of chipboard on the bottom. I end up taking those off though because I add pearls to the photo corners I add a pearl to the heart that's on the title. And then I also add some slightly larger pearls to the embellishment at the top of the page. And then I liked the way that size pearl looked. So I decided to switch out the smaller pearl that I had at the bottom for a larger pearl. And I thought that's enough pearls. There were just too many at that point. I thought the blue brad stuck out a little bit too much. So I switched it for a pink one. That's the last touch and this layout is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to check out the links to all the other Stretch the Sketch participants. The links are in the description box. I can't wait to watch their videos. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.